Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Nathan and I are very excited to do another live, Nathan, live Beyonce performance. I'm excited mm -hmm. for this. A little bit of controversy out there in Beyonce land. Uh, at the time of this recording, slash by the time this gets released, it's going to be old news. But there was, you know, there were some people were stomping their feet and shaking their fists at the powers of be that Beyonce didn't get nominated for any of her, any of the country uh, album stuff. I get people's frustration. Actually, I haven't heard what her camp has said. I haven't heard anything. She doesn't need <laughs> the fans. know we haven't gotten to that part of her career yet. We've dabbled with a couple of the songs from those later albums. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if you're a fan, this goes for any, think of a movie like a, you and I like certain movie stars or any kind of like there's bands that I've enjoyed who've never won an award is what I'm getting at but you can still enjoy the band it's nice when your favorite artist your favorite movie director or whatever it is favorite actor or actress gets an award it's fun it's nice to see them be recognized I get it but don't let that take away folks don't let the powers that be that have these these awards are all political anyways don't it's got very little to do with actual talent and what people enjoy. Like that goes for mm -hmm. every category from the Emmys to the Oscars, to the Tonys, to the just, yeah, don't get too wrapped up and don't, yeah, don't let the non nomination take away from your fandom or get you frustrated because the music or, or whatever artist you enjoy, you still get to enjoy regardless of what these other outside people say. I don't think Beyonce was trying to get a, Country Music Award. I think it is uh, Album of the Year, which she has not yet. She's never um, won Album of the Year for anything? No, and there, and she's really poised well with this album to do it. The Country Music Awards wasn't on her radar. It wasn't something she was like targeting specifically. There's a different process to be nominated in for the CMAs. It's, it's just a, a whole different ballgame. She's probably surprised that she didn't get at least nominated, but she wasn't like, hey guys, here's my album. Anyway, so this yeah. is for... Uh, a new patron. Yes, uh, this is uh, Quinn uh, has given us this request. Thank you, Nathan. No, these are good comments. This is why we do our show too. Our, well, our show, our, our channel is that we are doing this it's journey. A it's a show. We're doing a journey with every artist that we do. There's certain journeys we're taking and we're learning. We're with the beehive. You know, like we mm. pro Beyonce. We enjoy her performances. And so we want her to be happy and succeed as well in life. This is just our message to the beehive. Those who may be upset. Because I saw people that were upset just... She'll be okay, and you'll be okay, too. You get to enjoy your music, and you get to enjoy our channel still. So, Nathan, we're doing from a new patron, I should say, a request. Well, mm -hmm. it's a new request, too. But Quinn, so do you want to welcome Quinn into the welcome? Yeah, I will. <laughs> I guess you're not going to. Nathan, I do welcome them in. You're the one that plays harmonica. You think I'm just going to sit here with my pretend harmonica? <laughs> I'm not and going to. Was, We're a team. We're a team. I know. You did it. Thank but you. you said I'm not going to. Maybe it can sound like I'm just going to dump Quinn on the curb or something. Perfect. It goes well with the song. Good little matchup. Thanks, Quinn. Well, welcome yeah. to the Welpdom. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody left her Patreon. So you can do extra survey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to hear what they had to say? Oh, this I love what to hear. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. <laughs> uh, one person that we know who they left. This person said, no, no longer felt welcomed here. We know who that is. <laughs> but <laughs> just so you guys know, it's anonymous. We can't see the names. We can just guess sometimes. But mm. uh, this person said here, and you could also check. So it was funny. Sorry. <laughs> when you, when you, <laughs> when you leave, you, there's selection. You can select the reasons why you left. For example, some people select like my financial situation changed. That's the nicest way people are like, I'm poor. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't afford it, which is fine. That's her sweetest way of saying no offense. It's just a money thing. So that's the big one. The other second biggest one is like, I only became a member because I wanted a specific thing. I got that thing. Cool. And they mm -hmm. leave. That's cool. Totally understand. There's like seven different options as to why you can leave. So this person selected them all. <laughs> <laughs> To really make it known that everything, everything possible about why you would leave our Patreon, they made that the reason. This is a real, like, they're doing this to us. They're like, this is why I'm leaving you guys. Everything. For example, I'm not happy with Patreon's features or services. Well, here we are on YouTube wasn't as active as I expected. It was too hard to find or access my benefits or rewards. My financial situation changed. I don't like the benefits or rewards that I received from Well, here we are on YouTube. I was overcharged. I only intended to give Well, here we are on YouTube a specific amount of money. And now I have. I only became a member to receive a specific benefit. And now I've got it. I don't want to pay sales tax. Or and I didn't receive the benefits or rewards described on the creator's Patreon page. And some other reason. <laughs> <laughs> They all 
can't be true. <laughs> you can't get what you paid for and not what you paid for at the same time. And lastly, they got to write their little comment. I don't like the energy they give off. Very off-putting. <laughs> <laughs> then why did you ever join? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I just thought that was funny. I love the extra surveys. I always enjoy them. <laughs> <laughs> please fill them out. Don't leave our Patreon. But what do you do? Please, please make sure you rag on us the best you can because they'll get right out on YouTube. Okay. All right. Uh, so this song that we're doing is Beyonce's Freakum Dress, Nathan. Freakum Dress. You ever heard of that? Freakum Dress. Uh, no. Where's what time period is from? Uh, I think it's we're going back a little bit to I am Sasha Fierce that type of uh, time. Oh, okay, I think. Okay. Quinn says I really enjoy watching you guys' reactions. Well, here's somebody who likes our vibe, Nathan Quinn. Mm-hmm. I was hoping I could request. Oops, where to go? Sorry, I was hoping I could request a Beyonce performance. It's a live performance of her song "Freakum Dress" from her "I Am World Tour" in '09. All right, so okay, we're back yeah, a few years is, from where we are now. Well, we're in 2013, 2014 area right now. Birthday However, album. the song. Oh, go ahead. Birthday album. However, the song "Freakum Dress." Birthday album. To it. Sorry. I'm, oh, sorry. Are you saying? Okay, I, I. I <laughs> I can't hear you over my talk. I thought you were asking what's the album, so I kept oh, waiting to oh, read well, to you. you literally, headphones like this. <laughs> okay, you know what? <laughs> Beyonce is the only thing holding this channel together right now. <laughs> <laughs> Once we're done with Beyonce, I might have to reinvestigate. All right. Um, this performance stands out to me, not necessarily because of the song, but because it emphasizes how much of an incredible performer she is and highlights the extent of what she can do in heels. But most oh. of all, I think you guys will, will like this performance because she sh- showcases her fabulous guitarist, BB. Oh. Cool. So we're going to see oh, yeah. some uh, dance moves in high heels and rock and guitar. So without further ado. To be or not to be. So I I don't agree with uh, them using our footage as dancers, Nathan. I didn't know we gave permission of uh, us. Yeah, of, yeah. Of me and you dancing. Yeah, yeah that's us. <laughs> I'm like, well, look how pink I am. I th- well, they I put some co- they put some color and hue on it, but they used our <laughs> bodies, is what they did. <laughs> 2009. That was way back.
just so. All right. Wow. I'm get, I'm, um, I get it. Sorry. Like, I got to say this real quick. I get why, like, Beyonce became so propelled into the spotlight because stuff like that is, like, in 2009, unheard of. Sorry. I had to that no, out. it's fine. No, it's fine. Yeah. No, no. I don't get mad. I'm fine. You can talk first. It's good. People oh, always just, get mad at me for talking anyways and things <laughs> I say I get in trouble for and then Oh that that's coming later. You, you, actually you got some very nice compliments on YouTube recently, Nathan. You I think it was more of a dig at me, but it was a compliment for you. They literally said I only watch for Nathan. <laughs> 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 I'm glad they enjoy your commentary, but it kind of made me feel a little small. So, you know, it worked. The commenter, it worked. I, it stung a little bit. It stung a little bit. Well, I'll finish my thought and then you can sure, sure. That's amazing. Like, she can't, I don't think she can do that, what she she did back then with her body. Like, that kind of a, like, that's the yeah, lowest limbo I've ever seen. 15, yeah, 15 years ago. Yeah. And then pairing it up with a female guitarist that, that just yeah. rocks and shreds so well. Mm -hmm. 2009, was anyone yeah. doing that? All female band playing no, live music? No, not like, no, there wasn't any like female that? band like that. No, no, not like that kind of performance. That was an iconic moment. Yes, I agree with the. I was actually almost positive because it's like, am I watching? Is she on something like a wire? I was actually, I was wondering, honestly, is she being held up by something? Because she held herself like Neo from Matrix. You I know, know. The, I know. That's amazing. The, yeah. Well, like if, if I was better at video editing, I would do like having the Agent Smith or whatever firing bolt to like, Beyonce. And she goes backwards and, she, and she's like, <laughs> Do the like <laughs> camera thing. Oh yeah, because <laughs> uh, she was like Matrix style. I don't know how she did that. Mm -hmm. Her muscle, leg muscles, and Adam uh, stomach strength to do that. Yeah, she gave a very breathy performance too. Uh, her lungs were just pounding out the lyrics there too. I noticed oh, that as we well. Go. Nathan, I was just saying there was very a lot of breathing, uh, a lot of exertion of vocal work there. Um, what are you rubbing? I'm not rubbing. I'm accentuating that the breath that she was exerting. Um, no, I mean, she looked great. She sounded great. But I can see now what Quinn was saying, that she, Quinn wanted us to see the physicalness that Beyonce brings to the stage, of course, the way she just moves and dances around the high heels, the dancing people behind her, uh, and BB's guitar work. She's just flailing it. And when she did this thing, when Beyonce did that with her fingers there, she was channeling, that was Michael Jackson with the Dirty Diana. Uh, that's what oh. Michael Jackson would do that to the guitarist for Dirty Diana on stage, live on stage. Yeah, that same mm. type of like channeling the energy of the guitar. So, uh, yeah, awesome stuff. Cool performance. And I love how she uh, gave that spotlight to BB there. That was really cool. But even though she gave the spotlight to BB, but the way she fed off that energy and, the, and, the, and her movements were amazing too. So great. Uh, thank it. you for sharing that. That's a good little tidbit that we missed on our Beyonce journey. Well chosen, really. Yeah, oh, awesome, Quinn. Thanks, Thank Quinn. you. Yeah, thanks everybody for joining us. This was a lot of. Oh, there's Quinn right there. Hey, Quinn. Oh, Quinn. Um, yeah, yeah. Thanks everybody for for joining us. This was a lot of fun. Yeah, we look forward. To, we always look forward to Beyonce. Stick around. There's a lot more coming up soon. We'll see you then.